or something anyway, so I'll make sure I don't get in the way of the camera. Ooh. Hello everybody, you've caught me at it again. Um, and I've just, uh, I've been a little bit intermittent uh, here in the studio in the last few days and uh, and I haven't posted too many video clips, but uh, anyway, never mind, such is life. Um, I've got a bowl here that I threw just, um, in fact I threw it yesterday, and it's, uh, it's ready for turning. So uh, let's get down here on the wheel head where the action is. I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer. And, and then we can see in a bit more detail what I'm actually doing. So, now there we have the bowl. I'll just adjust the camera. Click like that, there we are. All right, now I've just got to squeeze in here past the camera. Good, I think I'll make it. Oops. <laughs> okay, so. Ooh, ooh, I've got another little fella here is waiting also to be t uh, trimmed and turned a little faceted bowl that I did as a little demo yesterday. So, when you um, come to trim your, your wear, just damp the, the rim and the wheel head like that, put it face down, tap center, as you've heard me talk about on numerous occasions. And you all practice diligently, I know, and, um, and are getting much better at it, aren't you? <laughs> Seriously, keep at that tap centering, it's, uh, it'll save you such a lot of hassle you can learn how to do it. So there we, there we have it, she's on centre. Now I've got this turning tool here. This is probably a bit of a repeat for many of you who see me do this lots of times, but well, sometimes you, you need to see these things more than once, don't you? So you can see I'm paring away the clay here. And I've thrown this allowing extra thickness here in the in the base of the pot to allow me to do that. Just take this opportunity to thank you all for your your comments that you do send in to me through YouTube. And I promise you I do read them all, although I don't I don't get around to answering them all, all the time. I hope you understand that. So there we are. Now at this stage in the in the throwing uh sorry, not the throwing the the turning, trimming, I'm, I'm looking for that shape, that full shape that you know I like. Like a full flowing curve, not a broken line but a continuous line. So we're now going to go in here on the top. Cut up, pair away the the foot here. That's often a convenient place if you want to put a um, your own personal seal. That is a, a, a good place to, to do that. Right, okay, now because I've, this is a very toothy um, clay body, I'm going to just smooth it with this rib. Just press it into the clay at an angle like that and it just compresses the surface of the, um, of the of the pot 
and makes it s smoother. I'd like to do that a bit, especially with this with this clay body that's actually quite quite rough. Mm -hmm. There we are. I'm going to just get more tension here. I've got a course starting on um, Monday, so you'll be you'll be able to see me. with some of the students next week. Okay, there we have that one. I uh, hope you can see that. The, the shape, the foot ring. Even the foot ring, I try to um, get a relationship between the angle I cut on the foot ring there, which then relates to the shape of the, the, the body of the pot. So it doesn't look like it's a, an appendage just sort of stuck on, but it actually looks like it's in harmony with, with the rest of the pot. It's the sort of thing I find important. So after I, I've trimmed my pot, I put it back on the wheel like this and just wet the rim just to smooth it over a bit because I don't like the a flattened rim when it's gone face down on the wheel head it can get a rather flat look to it so I like to just give it back its rounded look right that's now ready to be dried or or raw glazed or have whatever um, treatment we think is appropriate. Just putting on a few seals here on the bottom of this pot. I've got one for Spain, one for 2008 and, and my own seal. And there we have it. Okay folks, this is Simon Leach saying why don't you have a go? Get out there in your studio, be inspired, and get practicing. Hang on in there. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye now.